How is the mobile network operator industry viewing AI revolution? What's in it for them? I think the opportunity is not just for telco industries, but actually it's for the entire, you know, entire planet. Just purely in the telco space, I saw a recent study from McKinsey. Their estimation is that in next two years, uh, the telcos can gain three to four percent point EBITDA improvement, and in five years that can get to a about uh, eight to ten percent, and and seventy percent, according to McKinsey, the the Gen AI impact in telcos is seen in the sales and the customer support. I talk to a lot of my telco peers. I talk to a number of enterprises. Everybody is doing something in terms of improving their internal operations with AI and Gen AI. For example, in Orange, we have created an internal Gen AI platform, which is based on Open AI. And we have a number of use cases. We have software developers using this platform to develop code. We have people doing document search, create sales proposals. Uh, we're doing contract analysis. So there are many, many use cases. Every organization is, is doing things around that. And that's what I call everyday AI. I believe where there is real opportunity for telcos is in what I call game-changing AI. Think about new products and services. Think about how we can empower new experiences for consumer as well as enterprises. So, I mean, I give you a couple of examples what we're doing in, in our in business. We are reinventing SMS. We have created a conversational SMS where there is a number, you send a message, you get a response back so you can start a chat. And we have integrated that with a Gen AI engine so that you can have a much more intelligent exchange. So it's a new chatbot experience powered by SMS. I give example of SMS. You can think the same for voice. Today, you know, if I call you and you are not available, uh, then you know I, I I'm dropped off to uh, the voicemail. Tomorrow, someone which is your personal assistant, AI assistant, should be picking up the call and say, Faisal is not around. What do you want to do? I say I want to have a meeting with him. He told me in the recent email that he's ready to have a call on Friday. And then the assistant say, yes, I check in the email. I can fix a slot. And then uh, the slot is set up. Uh, you will have a call. Right. So I think that's another example of a reinvention of uh, core telco services. The other opportunity that we see for enterprises is many enterprises want to get on this AI wave, but they struggle the very first step with their uh, ability to trust public cloud for very sensitive data. So we saw this opportunity in the market to create what we call trusted Gen AI platform and services. Customer can bring their own large language models, train them in this very sovereign GPU infrastructure. If the customers don't know which model to use, we also partner with French LLM provider uh, called Lighton, and we can offer LLM as a service. Or if the customer says, oh, I just want to have a SaaS application to do document management, then we can also offer that based on the, using the LLM from our partner and also the infrastructure from us. So we can offer a completely secure, highly compliant, transparent, highly auditable, trusted Gen AI services in terms of you know, helping enterprises to achieve their business outcome. I mean, I, I believe that Telco as an industry, over the years, we've been very much squeezed in terms of our CapEx and also our PNL. So we have become very much operational efficiency driven. AI give us new uh, direction to be able to think about innovation and think about creating more value for consumer and the enterprises.